What is going on everyone and welcome on into the video. So today we're talking organization and what you need in your own trading layout. Now, ultimately, this is going to be fully customizable and you can do whatever you want to do. But in this video, I'm going to talk about a way to organize a trading layout, whether you're an investor, a short term trader, a swing trader, kind of like myself, it depends on your style and strategy, but whatever works best for you, you can ultimately customize that. So we'll talk about what you need. We'll go from some of the most important things you need to have and then what's some of the least important things ultimately though again that is customizable so we're going to be using the Webull platform here in this video there's a link in the pinned comment and description box to get some free stocks when you sign up and deposit if you're interested in doing that you don't have to use this platform you could follow along with the platform if you'd like to for free you don't even have to deposit or you could utilize any other platform a lot of customizable platforms you'll be able to use a lot or get access to a lot of the same features here just make sure that you need to have things organized the way you see fit ultimately to fit your trading style and your needs. So right now, what I'm going to do is I have my layout pulled up right here. You can kind of get a quick view of what I'm going to be talking about and what I'm going to be using. But of course, you can customize this and change this and alter this and do whatever you want. So this could be a good starting point, starting block. But let's dive into how you can add and customize your layout. On the Webull desktop platform, you want to go over to this paintbrush tool. That is the customized layout section. Then you're going to have a page that is probably going to be blank or it's going to look something like this in terms of a new layout. So I have a bunch of layouts right here. I've already created what I like. So I'm going to go over to my layout and I'm going to kind of talk us through that. Okay. Now, in the top right, there is going to be, it's cut off my screen, there's going to be a little box that says add widgets. If I click on that box, it'll pull this guy up right here, okay? So now we're going to look at this guy right here, and these are all the widgets that we can add to our layout. So if I click on any one of these widgets, I can pop it open. For example, order flow right here, I can pop it open on my screen and start to move it around to where I want to put it and where I see fit. Depends on how big your screen is, how big you want to make these different widgets, and you can resize them accordingly. For example, if I want to increase the size of this guy, I can bring it across, I can bring it in, I can bring it up, I can bring it down, all that good stuff. And then up in the top right of the widget, I can click on detach or remove order flow from my screen, and I can do that right there as well. So that is what's important when it comes down to kind of customizing things. And of course, I'd let you, you know, go ahead and, and play around with this and, and, and just kind of mess with things. But let's talk about kind of from, you know, most important to least important based on your style. Let's talk about what you need to have and how you can organize a layout. So I'm going to jump off the screen here and we're going to kind of kind of look at the screen here as it is. So first off, we need to have what is called the quote, which is this box right here. This box in the top right of my screen, that is the quote widget, okay? This is the most important, one of the most important widgets that you can have because it will tell you the ticker symbol, the first couple of letters uh, or the symbols, right, of whatever stock or, or ETF or whatever you're looking at, and then will tell you the name. So for example, this is the Spider S&P 500 ETF that I'm looking at. If I change that and go to this little box right here on that widget and I go to like, let's say Apple, AAPL, you know, it'll tell me now AAPL is the ticker, here is Apple and, uh, you know, the price. So. You need to have that. Uh, ultimately, if you're obviously a price action trader, you want to know what price you know you're you're buying at, right? If you're an investor, if you're you know a, a day trader, you need to know what price Apple is right now, so that you can ultimately buy. The next piece to that would be the chart. So that's this big piece right here. So someone like me, I'm very technical. I like to look at charts. I like to look at lines and trends and all that stuff. So for me, that's very important, right? If you're an investor, maybe not so much, but for me, I like to have the chart nice and big on my screen. For you, if you're an investor, you can bring that chart in to make it smaller or make it bigger. It could be the focal point. For me, it's pretty much the focal point of my layout, right? Now on the chart, I have a couple other things that are kind of overlaid on the back. So what I can do is when you go to that widget toolbox in the top right, okay, and you want to pull a, an extra feature or a widget out, for example, if I want to go to quote and I want to pull out the option chain, okay, let me pull up the option chain. Here, here it is. So now I have the option chain for whatever, for, S, for, for SPY, for SPY, right? If I want that option chain to be overlaid or, or to be underneath within the same tabs of my chart, I can kind of hover that over whatever widget or whatever section I want. For example, see how it's kind of turning blue on all these different widgets. Now I can hover it over and it will overlay or it'll put the options, the option widget on that same, I guess, tab or on a different tab on that same big box that I have the chart. So. I already have this pulled up, so let me get rid of one of these. I already have this, but let's just dive into it. So I have the chart and I can go back and forth between different widgets underneath my chart. So I don't primarily look at options, but if I do, 
you know, it's kind of a secondary thing, right? So it will be something that I'll want to look at and I'll have to pull it up underneath my chart and move back to that tab to pull up options. So that's what I'll do. And I'll overlay that underneath. So if it's something that you don't want to look at all the time, or you want to be able to go kind of back and forth and you want to have more stuff to look at, but you don't want to, you don't have enough room on your screen. Well, you can overlay widgets on top of each other. And then you'll have just tabs up in the top left of your widget. You'll have tabs that you can go back and forth through. Now, the next really important piece to this, I just want to mention really quick, is this in the top right of your widgets, it will have an option to set as a group. So I have it set to one. What that means is that when I change the ticker symbol on one of my widgets, so for example, Apple right here, if I go over to QQQ, uh, Invesco QQQ, it will change that across everything, every widget that I have it set group one, okay? So in the top right of all of your widgets, look at the bottom of my screen, right? Same thing, there's a little one right here on this widget. Uh, on my little trade widget, there's a little one. On all of those widgets, there will be an option to set as a group. If you set it all to one, when you change it in one spot, it's gonna change across everything. That's really, really important, okay? Uh, now, obviously, we gotta be able to buy these things. So the next and most important part is gonna be the actual trade widget right here, which we can look at and that's this classic trade. So to get that, you're gonna go over to the add widget toolbox and go over to trade and then there's a bunch of different things you can use to trade. What you could do is all these types of, of order entries or classic trade, active trade, active order entry, all those different things you can overlay on the same, you know, same widget, right? So I'll have classic trade up and what I also have is I have the price ladder, which is very similar to TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform, the price ladder right here. So. I can enter in, you know, really, really quickly on any price to the cent if I would like to change the increments, sell, put in shorts, whatever I want to do, all in one shot, all one place, really, really simply. So that's this. It's really important. Uh, you need to make sure you have that because if you need to be able to buy the stocks in some way, uh, ultimately what you could do is you can kind of right click or you know control click on your on your uh, chart and uh, you can go and and buy. It'll allow you to create an order and open the order entry form and stuff, and you can buy like that. But that this is too complicated. It makes it, you know, it makes it harder, right? You just be able to you know quickly see. Okay, boom! I want to buy. Get in. Use your order entry widget right here. Now, I will mention there are actually a lot of videos we already have covering things like the price ladder. So if you want to learn more about that, that's a very very great thing to do. We already have a video here on the Webull playlist. If you want to check it out here on the channel, uh, make sure you go check that out. Okay, that's the next most important thing. The next part after that is going to be level two time and sales. Okay. So I was going to film this video after hours, but it makes sense to film it during market hours so we can see this, these things live. So order book level two, you're going to have to pay additional for this. Now you're going to get level one, which essentially is just going to tell you the bid and the ask, and that's it. Now level two tells you where buyers are stacking up below the current bid price. And then the ask we have where buyers are, or sellers are stacking up above the current ask price. That's it. It's helpful to use. I like it. So I'm going to make sure that that is part of my layout. Now on your Webull app, you'll have to go into advanced quotes and subscribe. It's a few bucks a month um, that you'll have to subscribe to it if you want to. Not necessarily required, but if you're more of an active trader, it's very helpful or it could be helpful in your style. Now, Next is time and sales. That's this guy right here. That's another widget we added. This is actually really, really cool because it will tell us at every time, right? At exactly, you know, to the second, how many shares were bought at what exact price and on what exchange. That's what it tells us. Now, the colors, we have a recent video that explains what the colors mean in a very, very quick fashion. Check out that video if you want to learn more about that of individual colors. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just telling you what orders are coming through and at what price. Um, then the colors will kind of tell you the bid versus the ask above the bid or above the ask or below the ask, whatever, all the different things. That is what the colors will tell us. So we've covered the most important things, at least in my opinion. Now I want to go over to the watch list section right here. So now I have the watch list widget right here. Now what's really cool about this is that if I click on this drop down menu, I can go to recently viewed stocks. I can go to my positions. I can go to all stocks. Or if I've built out watch lists on the platform, I can go to any of these watch lists. And boom, just like that, I can see and get a quick peek into all of the stocks inside a certain watch list, okay? Very, very useful, very, very helpful to kind of quickly jump around. Now, if I wanna click on one of these stocks, boom, AYRO, boom, it's on my screen. So instead of having to type things in, it's a quick way to jump around and, and find stocks that you want to look at, okay? Uh, and things like that. So that's that. The next piece, the final piece here, is gonna be info and data. Now, this kind of can encompass a lot of different things. And so, I'm going to point your attention to the bottom of my screen, the bottom of my layout and the right side. Okay. So right now on the right side, I'll start there. This is looking at top gainers. It's essentially like a screener. So if I go over to my, you know, my widget toolbox again, right here, and I were to go over to the market feature, 
boom, most active, top gainers, losers, ETFs, all this, all this different stuff is really, really cool. So I can see what stocks are making the biggest moves today, up, down, what stocks are near their lows, what stocks are trading the most volume in terms of active stocks, all that good stuff, which I love to look at. So that is a great feature to have. Uh, and it could guide your trades, right? If you want to be a, you know, a momentum trader, you want to look at the stocks that have the most volume, the most att attention, the most you know movement, and play the momentum. You know that's really important. Okay. Below that, I have the index chart followed by a heat map and the industry maps. These are really really cool because it will tell me, okay, what's the S and P doing, what's the Dow doing, and what's the Nasdaq doing. So if I'm looking to take a trade on, let's say Apple, and I'm going to buy an option and go long and bet on Apple to go up. But all of a sudden, you know, the markets are even or they're flat on the day or they're green and they go huge red or they go red really, really fast. I'll be alerted to that by this index chart right here. And I can also quickly jump over to the S&P, the Dow or the NASDAQ, just like that with a click of the button on clicking onto those um, little squares in the bottom right of my screen. So it gives me a really good way to quickly get a feel for what the overall market's doing before I ever make that trade. And that's really important if you're day trading, okay? Or if you're, you know, swing trading or even a long-term investor, it's, it's important because you at least get a feel for what the markets are doing. Are they down today? Are they up? If you're a long-term investor, you may want to be buying on the red days. And so you want to buy when things are down. And that could be a better opportunity or give you a better average on a stock that you want to hold for the long term, right? So that's really important. And then last but not least, we'll cover this. This right here, the profile. So this is actually important for an individual stock. Let me go to an individual stock. Let me go to like Apple. So this down here is the profile, and then I've overlaid a ton more additional information that I can also you know, now jump back into these different tabs, okay? So the profile is really cool because it tells me the name of the company, the address, the phone number, the industry, and it tells me quickly what the website, I can get in, all that stuff, boom. So if I'm trading a penny stock or if I'm trading a stock in like a biotech space or I'm trading a stock I've never heard of before, I can quickly get a feel for what sector they're in jump to their website if I need to, and get all the information in one second. And now I can make that trade accordingly if I want to make that trade, right? It kind of makes some sense. Okay, I'm looking at a stock in the technology space. Okay, do I like the technology space? You know, Do I have a bias against that right now? What is my thoughts on that overall sector? Has it been really hot? Has it been you know cold? Is it you know due for a pullback, right? I already have that idea. Boom, now I know the stock fits in that space. Do I want to trade this thing long, short, and it can help out there? Then you have more things like institutions. Um, what are they doing as of late? Buying, selling, you know, dumping shares, press releases. We have order flow. Are there a lot of large scale orders coming into the stock, out of the stock? Uh, corporate actions. We have analyst upgrades and analyst current recommendations. A lot right now are strong buys and buys and holds. No one's underperformer sell for Apple. Short interest. Very, very cool here. We get some more numbers there in terms of shorting and then some financials diving into their quarterlies, their annual numbers. And really it's, it's cool because you can get a lot of that stuff quickly in one place, just like that, uh, all through the Weeble widgets uh, that they offer you, right? When it comes to customizing your layout. So again, Top right of your screen, there'll be a widget toolbox. You can add these widgets in one by one, general widgets, market, stock, trade, all this stuff is important that you can add to your layouts. And I really think going back through the kind of the hierarchy of how we went through things, right? Making sure you have your quote, then your chart, then your trade feature. So you can actually go ahead and buy the stocks, then your level two time and sales. Okay, what's happening right now? Then back your way through what's going on in the broader picture. What are other stocks doing? What's active, what's hot? Is the S&P, the Dow, or the NASDAQ up or down today? And then back our way through what company am I trading? If I don't know the company, I can get all the information in pretty much one click uh, when I customize my layout accordingly. Again, you can do this on any platform you want. By no means do you have to copy this, but it could be a great starting point. And then you can rearrange things to put them where you want. If you're a righty or a lefty, or if you're looking at the quote on the left side versus the right side, or you want the chart on, the, on this side or that side, or you want the chart in a different format, all that stuff is fully customizable. Again, to follow along, like the video, there'll be a link in the pinned comment in the description box to get access to Weeble. When you sign up and deposit any amount, they're going to give you a bunch of free stock. So check it out. It could be worthwhile. Make a few bucks in the process and then uh, go ahead and off on your own training. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, there'll be links and resources down below as well as on our playlist tab on the channel. Check out that Weeble playlist if you want to learn more about other aspects of the platform that could be very, very beneficial to you and your own trading. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.